Hello saviors and welcome, my name is Savar24 and today I'm going to be continuing with the Dark Side Detective. Now in the last one, we managed to do the police farce, which had a bunch of little gremlins running around in the, <laughs> the police station. It was just a bunch of little, like, goblins or whatever it was that was just running around in the police station causing all kinds of chaos. It took me a while in order to figure out how to get rid of a couple of them, but I got them in, in, in the end. Anyways, in the next one, we're going to be doing the Loch Ness, which obviously is a playoff of the Loch Ness Monster, but as to how this one's going to work, I'm not exactly sure. Case summary, Dooley and his blood wolves are attending a jamboree, but the kids rang, in, rang me in a panic saying something fishy was going on. You had to throw in the fish jokes, didn't you? These guys just can't throw in, just can't fit, help themselves but throw in some kind of joke about, like, fish or something. Some kind of punny joke. <laughs> Puns. Six. Welcome to the campsite of the Blood Wolves. Well, here I am. Can't. What am I doing here? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Whatever those kids were calling about, I don't see why Dooley couldn't take care of it. Because it's Dooley! Campsite. This is what happens when you let people vote on a name. The other choices were a cabin in the wood not, tent pagan, and the place where you go where you <laughs> the place where you'll die. So not hard to see how it won't how it won out. A poorly painted sign says Jamboree inside. First here, that's odd, but I'm sure the rest will be along soon. Just settle in and don't think about it ever again. That's actually that's ex actually exactly the kind of sign I'd expect here. Because it's exactly the kind of thing that it would be, huh? It's been years since I came here. Memories, huh? So you're so you're here amongst this place? I guess that's the closest thing there is to a nightclub for flies. <laughs> the scrawl reads, park your automobiles here, then throw the keys away. You won't need them with a fun with the fun we will have at the Jamboree. No other motives, honest. Oh, the rope snap. I guess I have a sign now. I took the wooden plank? The sign? Really? It's too quiet when driving by myself. I need to get the radio fixed for when Dooley's not with me. I can hear the flies buzzing in my ear. An information booth. Actually, the eye is for interloper. I often ask myself, Jamie, do you think people will see this eye and I understand what you offer reasons why they are why you are, they are well, unwelcome in this terrible place? But I think it's pretty clear. Uh, what? Understand that you offer reasons why they are unwelcome in this terrible place. Okay, then. Come see your breathing land. Our breathing land. We rose 30 feet above sea level when the mountains last inhaled. Hi there. Welcome to the lake monster. Get out while you can. What? Why? Why? Because of the lake monster, of course. It's our number one attraction. Avoid it at all costs. What are you doing here? Every day I ask myself that same same that self same question. Jamie, you could have followed your dream. I say, you could be a chef. But then I remind myself that I cannot taste flavors and I think I made the right choice. I am What are you doing here? Oh yes, yes, me and my flights of fancy. I work the tourism board and this is the tourism board. We, it and I, tell the people uh, won wonderful things to see and do in Twin Lakes. And what to avoid like this lake and the rest of the city. Tell me about the camp. Campsite got its name as it was the site of a terrible massacre. It's also the site where those angry, angry spirits were laid to rest. Unconnected, it's also the site where terrible tragedies happened each year. And it's where the kids go on, on vacation and do fun Blood Wolf activities. It fills my heart with joy to see them play and with fear because everything here is so awful. Sounds like there's not a lot of fun in this camp. Oh, huge big fan fangs it has, or tendrils, maybe even a big sucker thing. And the wings! Oh, if you saw them, they'd probably be wings. They may be fins, though. Hard to tell at a distance. It stands well over a certain height, tall, and weighs an amount. You can be sure of that. Have you ever seen it? With my own eyes! Sorry, that was meant to be a question. With my own eyes? No, no, I've not. Has anyone ever seen it? And live to tell of it? No. How many people is it rumored to have taken? Rumored? Many? Proven. None. Right. A fiend it is. What a wondrous attraction for the region. Each day I am tr torn between Jamie, people need the beast, it brings much business, and Jamie, the monster, it kills, probably. 
Goodbye. Run and don't look back. Seriously, how did you get this job? I married into a powerful park tourism family. Not a very good one at that, apparently. You're here. Devin, you rang? Blood Alpha Dooley has gone missing. Wah. Missing? Tell me what happened. Much crying, questionable authentic whales. We don't know. He was here last night, then this morning gone. His bunk wasn't even slept in. Aliens must have taken him. I think Devin was the one who was in the uh, Tome Alone chapter, wasn't he? Mauled by a bear, I bet. Let's not lead to conclusions. When was the last time you saw him? We had nighttime hot chocolate, then he went to the office. I don't know. You do office-y things? I guess we start there, then. We? I don't want- I don't do entire cases solo, just convenient sections. Come on, we've got us a Dooley to find. Just convenient sections. We need to find Dooley, this place is too tense without him to lighten the mood. Get it? Too tense? Too tense? Eh, eh. Yeah, right. Not a good joke. You know what improves a joke? Explaining it. Right, because every time you say, you say a joke, the first thing you want to do is explain it, because that just easily clears out as to how the joke goes. I'm no balloonologist, but I'm pretty sure these shouldn't be slimy. They're slimy? Sometimes I think the fire is whispering at me to burn things, but then I realize it's just Emily. Snitch. Thanks for coming out. These two are on the verge of a meltdown. Looking for him should, be, should calm them. No problem. Got any marshmallows on you, mister? No, but aren't you meant to be always prepared? That's scouts. We are taught to never prepare. Means we're never ready for anything, but does wonders for the budget. Right, because budgets, they're a pain. Nice campfire. Did you guys build it yourselves? Emily built it all by herself. I didn't build it. I just freed the flame. That's how I got my Fire Whisperer badge. Fire Whisperer badge? Blood Wolves have a lot of very much not scout badges. Best not to ask. Wasn't even gonna go there. Okay, apparently I can I can't interact with those. A dorm room reminds me of summer camp out here as a kid. There's nothing in here. The window covers the wall. They forgot to build the room, but already had the windows ordered. So let's enter. Hello, hello, hello. This is Jack Turner, Devin's father. I just wanted to check in in the book. In that the boy is doing okay. Not struck too wide-eyed by all that nature, I hope. Uh, he's, uh, fine. Sorry for calling up. Jacket, ah, dang it. Ah, I hate that right-click BS. I really don't mean to push that. It's just by accident. One of these is wet and reads, Very real jamboree on this weekend. Dooley's pack should come. They are the best pack and will win the jamboree, which is real. Something smells fishy. It's the flyer. It stinks of fish. If you say so. Here's the dorms. The Blood Wolves of America doesn't exist. Don't ask questions. Go on about your lives. Not the most welcoming poster. You gotta want the wolf. You don't have time for blow-ins. A box of dress-up props. Let's dig out some bits and bobs. I got some props. Why does it look like freaking Chewy? Like, seriously, why does that look like Chewbacca? Chewy! The top one was mine. Dooley was below me. Yes, I have Dooley's old bunk. Why are you saying yes to that? I would not want to have Dooley's old bunk. Has a sticker saying, the truth is around here somewhere. I'm guessing this belongs to Dooley. It's on and Dooley's logged in. I'm not proud of this, but maybe I can find some clues. Those were good times. Don't worry, buddy. I'll find you. So Dooley is completely missing. There's a file in here called Password. Let's see. Dooley's password is password. That's as secure as it is surprising. This machine is pretty much empty. This looks interesting. Greetings, fellow Blood Wolf. You and your pack, I guess, are invited to the 100% legitimate jamboree at campsite this weekend. You have to come. You must. Nigel, fellow Blood Wolf, no, no need to look it up. Uh, okay. An empty folder. Seems he was hanging out on his Duluminati.com forum. <laughs> There's an open thread. Dear Duluminati, the government are trying to use my brainwaves to hunt me down so they can pester me into film work. How can I protect myself? There's this guy who keeps bumping his post and pinging Dooley. All of his posts are signed Nigel Fellow Human for, real for realsies. 
I'm starting to see a pattern here, but who is Nigel? Yeah, who, good question. Who is Nigel? Nigel apparently be, appears to be a reoccurring theme here. Sometimes Blood, Blood Alpha Dooley lets us play games with him on his computer. Fill in the police reports is the one he play, we play the most. So he doesn't even do it himself. Fantastic. He's a lazy cop as well as a useless one. I want to be leaves. I keep telling Dooley to stop buying knockoff posters. This this is not a thing for a holiday camp to have. This is a Betty. It's like Seti, but Betty. But better. Hello, Armelia, Devin, Emily, Detective. Why is it talking and how does it know my name? We did say it was better than Seti. How can I help you today? You can tell me where Dooley went. Nothing. If Mr. Dooley wanted you to know his secrets, he'd have given you the password. What are you? How are you talking? I'm Betty. I monitor, gather, and collect and, and collate signals in the search for extraterrestrial life. Yeah, like Seti. I get it. Uh, Seti is a moron. I speak 13 languages. I'm a chess master and figured out the meanings of life. The meaning of life? Yes, but Dooley deleted that to make more room for his TV shows. Dooley is imbecile. Why do you even listen to that moron? Uh, fine. What was the signal? Okay. What was the signal Dooley found? A 2.4 gigahertz ultra high frequency radio signal. Essentially the internet, but stop trying to cyber protonize me machine. All you had to say was fancy internet. Where did it lead him? Across the lake to the signal source, which was, I'm afraid I don't know. I didn't go. I have no legs. I need that info. If you won't tell me, I'll have to commandeer it. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. <clears throat> Detective. <laughs> That's a reference. That is a huge reference. <laughs> Devin? Step aside, mister. Time to put my uppity AI badge to use. Wait, what? Why? Why do you even have a badge like that? Blood Wolf secret, sorry, and you don't have a need to know in case of a needs to know basis badge. Just do whatever you're going to do. Okay, you search the map for places the signal bounced through. I'll lock them in, and once we find enough of them, we should have the route our Blood Alpha Dooley took. So that's where we are now. And I've got to find this stuff. Okay, so there's one. It's gotta be on one of like the islands and stuff, so I gotta like keep a close connection to the islands here. I'm willing to bet that it was on this island next. Oh wait, no, I see it. Probably gonna be upwards this way a little bit this time. Nope. Can I just use. Okay, yeah, I can use arrow keys. That makes things so much better than trying to use the clicks. Actually, I'm using like W, A, S, and D. Okay, that's kind of backtracking a little bit, don't you think? Yep, that's about what I figured. There. Yeah, I figured it was on the far one. Huh, looks like a map of the lake. To what? To where? To Dooley? Not sure. Let's print it out and see where it leads us. I have obtained the map. I'm the map. Thank you, Devin! Hello? Hello, me again. Just wanted to make sure you were aware that Devin is allergic to technology bitten by a toaster once. He has left his EMP device at home. I wouldn't sleep at wink thinking of him without it there. In the tech-filled wilderness without knowing that your EMP is up and running. In fact, maybe you'd send me the make and model num- Hello? Hello? Barbara? I think the line has gone dead. 
paper can be damp because of leaks, extreme humidity, being in a jungle, and getting scared of wetting itself. Say what? Okay, let's head to the canteen. Hey, what? Have you seen Dooley around? I saw him yesterday. Chased him away from my stew. Wouldn't have ruined it. He was adding flavors. Not many people here. And? What's am I? The people police? Sometimes they's, they, they's here, sometimes they ain't. But you're here. Oh, sorry, I didn't know yous was the people police. I thought not. Why do you work out here? Working with the kids suits my sunny disposition. That's why I gave her the voice of uh, Raj from the Monsters, Inc. video movies. Bowls, can, shelves. I use those to cut Devin's hair. It's why I wear this cap. Not dog hot dogs. Seriously, our product contains 0% dog guarantee. Not a guarantee would have thought to have been given. Metal cups, a can of Colonel Mustard Poison Custard, and a box of Rataway Radiation Removal Powder. This place has it all. Wh has what all? It sounds like it's just a bunch of poison. Stu, don't ask for specifics. When I was last here, this was full of plastic fish. That's progress for you. So that's an actual fish? Okay. I've got my eye on you, Moon, up there watching all the night crimes but saying nothing. Obstruction of justice, that's what it is. I know the Moon's not a person. I was only joking with it. Joking with the Moon? Yes. Larry and Barry. An old gas can. It's empty because I emptied it. Let me guess, to start a fire? No, I poured it on Devin's bed so everyone would think he peed himself. What? I gotta make sure the other packs don't want to poach him from us. Okay. We have enough food to wait these beasts out for days. All kept nice and fresh in tinfoil. Because you think aliens are somewhere nearby. Are you here to see it too? See what to? We've been waiting ages and ages for it to show. We're starting to get bored of waiting, but we're not going home without seeing a monster. Well, good luck with that. Oh, so those are... Why are you so eager to see the monster? We're 100% of Twin Lakes Cry uh, Cryptozoology Club. We're always on the hunt for lake monsters, sewer gators, krakens, and around winters, yetis. People don't know this, but there's a lot of strange things happening in Twin Lakes. Believe you me, I know. <laughs> Sorry, guy, but the cops don't know anything about what really goes on here. Yeah, go back to getting kittens out of trees and leave the real detectiving to us. You have no idea what you guys are doing. Do you not have something better to be doing? Nope, not a thing. See you soon, unless the monster gets you. An old boat with no gas and a hole in it? I'll need to fix this up if I want to use it to follow this map across the lake. Well, I got an empty gas can, I've got props, and I've got a map from Betty. So I need to find something to patch up the boat. And then something else in order to fill it up. And I'm probably going to need something else in order to get rid of those two dorks. We got Dooley that is, we got Dooley that is a gift. After Emily smashed the room's light, it had it coming. What? What do you mean it had it coming? What could possibly have it coming? Pots. They look brand new. Don't need no pots to microwave a meal. Can I take one then? Whatever. I don't need them. Well, I should leave the rest in case Agnes ever needs them. Not gonna happen. Okay, so I got something to fix, but, uh... I need... Do I have to siphon my own car? Yes! What? Yes! I just need the right tools and I can earn my fuel siphoning badge. Who came up with these badges? Probably Dooley. Oh, actually, I could use the wooden plank in order to get that stuff. I'm looking for a friend. Eh, I'm uh, flattered. I think you, you're a nice guy, but my social calendar, it's full. I met a friend of mine has gone missing. Of course, sure, I knew that. What do they look like? Um, he's similar to me, about 20% more pixels. No, sorry, the monster probably got him. Run before it gets you, too! They all laugh when I tell him, Oh, Jamie, they say, you and your monster. And then, bam, it takes one of them. 
drags them off to its mountainy or watery or maybe even cavernous lair. Does this happen often? It might do. It's crafty, covers up its tracks by never being seen or heard or of doing anything at all really devious. <laughs> Goodbye, run and don't look back. Seriously, how do you get this job? So, this won't do. So I need to find like a, like, like something. I need like some kind of funnel in order to like siphon the gas. Okay, well apparently I found a bag of mallows that belonged to Emily, so I was able to use those for whatever reason, but I still don't have much else to work with here. Apparently she had a secret stash of marshmallows. This may not be a great idea. <laughs> great. Oh, here we go, tubing. So I'm tubing for cleaning out the tank. I think I could get away with taking a small length. That's what I need in order to fill up the gas can. Okay, let's do this. Siphoning kit. Stand back. It's time for me to summon up some fire juice. Good work, I guess. Now hand it over. What? Give me the gas can. I should have known you were on their side. I'm not on anybody's side. I need to find Dooley, you ding dong. Okay, so there's that, but I need something in order to stick... Oh. The marshmallows are sticky, but they need to be in paste form for that to work. The bag was too sticky, so I'll store them in here for now. And then I can use the marshmallows on the fire. Let's melt these mallows down, gang. Melt them to the ground. Melty marshmallow glop. And I'll put that on the wooden plank. Well, the plank is sticky now. Go team. Sticky plank on the boat. That's the hole fix. Now to find some gas. That's it filled up. I guess now that it's working, I best head out and check the lake. We best head out, mister. Too dangerous, kids. Tell you what, you keep an eye out in here in case Dooley comes back and I miss him. But danger is my middle name. No, it's not. You just wrote right danger on all your paperwork. Oh. We have to go, mister. We have to. It's against my better judgment, but then most things I do are. In you get. Yay! We just took them from that one guy. Okay, then. And you're a reporter that's just here. Hands off the camera. We're rolling. It's a Polaroid camera. An unmanned Polaroid camera. Doesn't matter. Dick Brickman will get his man or monsters on tape. So you're Dick Brickman. And you can rest assured that I'm not gonna anywhere until I do. Unless I had reason to believe the monster was hiding somewhere else. Hey, I recognize you. Dick Brickman here, reporting from here, the place I am, to you, wherever you are, for the Twin Lake News with me, Dick Brickman. What are you doing here? I, Dick Brickman, and here to report the news, and the news of the day is, is that there is a monster living in this lake. That's not really breaking news, is it? People have been talking about the supposed monster for an age. Breaking news, police admit to knowing about the monster, and I quote, an age. How did you get here? I don't see a boat. You can't keep the press out, and I, Dick Brickman, and the press. So what's the scoop on the monster? We're here live at the scent where the investigation has taken us thus far. What will we see? Is this where the monster lives? Will we finally get a signed photo of the creature? Tune in as soon as I, Dick Brickman, of the Twin Lakes News, have absolutely anything to share. You know there's no audience here, right? No need to talk like you're in mid-broadcast. Breaking news, detective, you're here. An audience of four. An audience of four or four million, the news has to be heard. Good point. Whether it's a few people or a whole or a whole bunch of them, it's still got to be heard. Don't forget to tune into the Twin Lakes News with me, Dick Brickman, for the thrilling conclusion of this week's Dick Brickman Investigates, featuring me, Dick Brickman, where I, Dick Brickman, will follow any lead on the creature, any lead at all. You are redundant, sir. I think we're lost. Pretty creepy place. I bet there are monsters in that forest. Let's hope not. I wonder what secrets this forest hides. Not that I have any real urge to find out. To the cave mouth. Nothing in here, no siree. I guess we should keep looking then. You really are duly students. <laughs> exactly, right? Like, no way. There seems to be a cave hiding behind that obviously fake cover. Let's go, M. You guys, you guys should guard out here. Okay, I'm gonna mess up anyone who comes near. Is the narc still out there? He's getting so close. 
I'll have a Hey! Detective! Dooley! What's going on here? Huh? Oh, this is Nigel. And... Hi. This is Nigel? This is the Loch Ness Monster. And his name is freaking Nigel, and he actually talks. He's fell... He's a fellow truthy. He invited me here to help with a problem. Right. Are you done? Can we go? No, and, uh, no. I need Dooley's help. The Illuminati and he are famous in truthy circles, you know. What's the problem? The government wants me because I'm a monster. A talking monster. Frankly, I'm surprised you haven't noticed. Anyway, I noticed. Anyway, I need protection. Like a gun? <laughs> Look at this guy. Let's solve everything by shooting it. I don't even own a gun. Stop talking about guns. I'm sensitive about my lack of fingers. We need to chase off that narc outside. They're closing in on Nigel and fast. Narc? You mean the reporter? Clearly a government spy. Now we get rid of him. And once he's gone, what you need, Nigel, is mind hat. That'll keep them off your trail. A mind hat? Protective layer of some kind of metal. Maybe aluminum. And do you mean a tinfoil hat? That sounds perfect. That'll stop them using your mind waves to locate you. Genius. I knew you'd be able to help. It's full of seafood takeaway wrappers. Don't judge me. It opens in the same forum page as Dooley's machine was, and the keys are damp. Very damp. Because Nigel uses them, and it's the Loch Ness Monster. Sticky tape, a staple in every adventurer's toolkit. I'll take it. It's full of fake jamboree flyers in various stages of readiness. His lack of hands explains the childlike nature of the posters, but nothing explains how he got a crafts table and computer here. Right? Like, how did he get that stuff? Do you like that? It's my human disguise. That's how I get into camp and convince Dooley into coming with me. I was certain he was another blood alpha. Very believable. Someday, I hope to work in a film makeup department. I think I have a knack for it. Um, hi? So a monster. A talking monster, but I don't like to talk about it. We're all God's creatures, I guess. Is that right? We don't have much religious stuff under the sea. I just read the books I st borrowed from the campsite. I'm not sure. What are you doing in Twin Lakes? It has a good dental plans, but you don't have teeth. If, but if I did, this place would be this place would be the place to be. Kidnapping, eh? I think it's an unfair way of describing luring somebody into a place under false pretense, trapping them into a cavernous lair, and refusing to let them leave. That's kidnapping. <laughs> Why do you think the government is after you? Hollywood. I'd be cheaper than CGI and a monster movies are all the rage these days. But I'm not interested in the life of fame. I'd prefer to work in makeup and help the real stars shine. Chat later. Uh, touche. Are you okay, Dooley? Yep, it's quite nice to hear. But since I can't leave, maybe you could help protect Nigel from the narc. Just get rid of that guy outside and then the mine hat to keep them from finding him again. Dooley, the guy's outside is a journalist. From TV. Perfect cover. Oh boy, these government types are crafty. Best convince that Nigel is hiding out somewhere else. Get him off his tra his tail. Quite literally. Okay, so I've got ink. Okay, gang, the good news is that Dooley's inside the safe. Is the bad news is that he can't come out yet. Why not? Hey, he's, um, there's, um... It's a blood alpha test for your don't ask questions badge. Yes, I've been waiting for that one for ages. Let's do this. Is there legitimately a sign that's actually that? Okay. Go back over here, and I need somebody to... Let's see kind of how, what kind of outfit we can make out of all this. <laughs> Bigfoot, I figured as much. Utterly convincing. We can't walk in this. Can we take it off? I guess. Yeah, these are dressed as a monster, but I need to find somewhere nobody will see, otherwise the skies will be spoiled. A few well-placed swirls and fake sighting. Ah! Thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, we're done running around after him. We're camping here until we see some definitive proof. Yeah, find some other fool to chase your leads for you. So I need some kind of picture. Goodness me, oh my, breaking news, the monster has been sighted elsewhere. This is me, Dick Brickman, signing off so I can sign back in on another day from another bay. Okay, good, so I get to just take his camera. He left his camera, I guess I should bring it back to Lost and Found. 
Okay, back into the Bigfoot outfit. Finally, I got to figure out what to do. Say whatever Bigfoot say when they're having their picture taken. Wait, should that be Big Feet? Big Feet? <laughs> Photographic evidence. We can't walk in this. Can we take it off? I guess. Doesn't make, doesn't mean, doesn't make a difference. We don't need it anymore. Yay, so we finally got it. Oh, God, it was taking forever for me to figure that out. Found a photo you take me to be interested Some proof, finally. We knew he was real. Wait until we show the gang. They seem to have left their cooler. Food and tin foil. I'll have some of that. Yeah. Then we go all the way back to Dooley. Into the cave we go. Okay, let's do this. Uh, can I, like, rotate some of these pieces? Or do they just, like, stuck in place, like, as is? They're just stuck as is, so I gotta, like, jigsaw my way in through this. Mm. Mm. Okay, somehow I managed to put that perfectly in place. There's that. And then after the first couple of pieces go in, the rest just fit in place. Okay, that was easy enough. That should do it. Now I just need to tape this here, fold that there, and voila, tinfoil hat. I better take this back to the cave and give it to Nigel. I'm already here, so just give it to him, please. If I tried that in the academy, they'd have kicked me. What did I do? Is the narc gone? Yep, he's gone. Okay, give him the hat. Here you go. It's a thing of beauty. Now what? With the narc distracted and Nigel untraceable, it's time for him to find a new life, free from the watchful eyes of the man. We can we stay in touch? Of course, just email me from hard to trace locations like phone booths, coffee shops, and the Marina Mariana Trench. Okay then, thanks again, Dooley. Poor guy. I hope he shakes off these government narcs, Dooley. We're government narcs. Speak for yourself. I don't tell the man nothing. That's why you're really not a cop or a detective. It's good to have you back, Dooley. The petrol. Looks like you're staying here with us. S'mores all around! Who are the bloodiest wolves around? Who keep their sniffers to the ground? The blood wolves, which I just got the achievement for. We do, we do. Case closed. Now somebody make a call. Dawn of the Dead. Oh God, that is such an obvious reference. Ugh. Also, Twin Lakes Police System Volume 13. The evil number, of course it would be. I didn't think about it until just now, but you know, we're dealing with all kinds of stuff like this, so it's common. <laughs> but anyways, that took way that took way too long to figure out how to do. Like it was like back and forth that I was constantly trying to figure out how to do. I had to ink splotch the map in order to get that thing. Okay, so <sighs> But I'm done. Okay, so that one was a, a bit of an, a, a, an oddball thing. Dick Brickman. Holy cow, does he like to say his name. He is just a, just quite the conundrum, isn't he? Just constantly going, Dick Brickman here, Dick Brickman here. I can't believe I talk, to myself, talk about myself as a third person. Like, hey, I'm Dick Brickman. I don't know why I gave him that kind of accent, but it just seemed fitting for some reason. Anyways, that's going to have to be everything I do for tonight. That is a lot of... Uh, there's only one last episode, and... It's probably going to be a doozy. Still, the only one that took the longest was Tome Alone, which I had to split up into two pieces. Other than that, the rest of them were 30-ish minutes, something around that. But for the most part, they, this has been a really fun, fun and funny adventure to try and solve. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Leave a comment in the section below, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, Sam.